Taurus, how you doing? We're going to get into your read here. It's going to be just focusing on, this is going to be about love here for you, all right? Taurus, your last reading, I would recommend checking that out if you haven't. Um, felt like more focused uh, towards you anyway, so I figured this one, we'll just see what the energy is looking like. I know a few readings ago we had this energy of wanting, uh, or somebody wanting to return. There's opportunities for new connections, so let's just see what's going on here for Taurus. And so for those that are interested in relationships, this would be your reading, and let's see what's going on here. Of course, these are general, just take what resonates, and I do read intuitively, so all the cards will be in the upright, all right? So let's see what's going on here. For Taurus, we have the Three of Swords coming in. We have the King of Swords here. Air energy starting off the reading here, so I mean... Could be dealing with someone that has air in their charts. We have the Page of Cups here. And let's see the, let's just get all the cards out. We have the Knight of Cups. Somebody's feelings are growing. I mean, I remember one reading though, somebody was really deep in thought, deep, deep emotions here with you. The Five of Pentacles. I mean, so far the energy is looking like um, we have somebody here that's, you know, there's a, there's an energy of wanting to offer something towards you. Now, it is building up to a knight's energy, which means there's a sense of someone wanting to express something towards you. The Five of Pentacles does tell me that this person doesn't really have communication here with you. There's a sense that um, either you block this person, you know, it doesn't have to be an ex. It could just be a past person here that just didn't really take off. We'll find out. We'll see who this is a little bit more at least get a better picture, but the center of the reading is the Three of Swords here, so it just feels like there was a, a get-together, you guys were going out, and then some sort of departure here, and I feel like there's someone that wants to return still, okay? Um, we're going to find out if, like, they want to um, do anything with it, and as I say that, I got the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles here with the Four of Pentacles, and you have the Ace of Pentacles here, so I'm not going to take these cards. If they do come out again, we'll definitely take them. But I mean, from looking at this energy, this person or wh whatever this is to you is definitely looking for a new beginning here with you. OK, I do feel like they're in this sense of, um, you know, they feel like they're not going to get you back. All right. I do feel like feel like they're just giving up on it. But there's like this energy of I'm going to try anyway type of thing. We have Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Queen of Wands sitting over here too. Let's see, three more cards here in your subconscious to see what's going on with their uh, Ace of Swords. Somebody has uh, received clarity here. I mean, you have the Eight of Cups too. Now, again, I'm reading intuitively. Eight of Cups in reverse is returning to a situation. Um, so with the Ace of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the King of Swords here, a lot of... Um, I feel like this separation brought someone a lot of clarity. Of course, this could be you, Taurus, as well, whoever's listening. Um, but flip it if it's not you. Um, but there's, that separation here definitely brought some sort of clarity for somebody. This Page of Cups, I feel like with the Three of Swords here, let's get look at that. the Seven of Pentacles coming out. So there's there's something here about somebody wanting to start a conversation. You know, this is something like, you know what, let's let's... Let's invest in this. Let's work on this. Let's try some. Let's try this out. It's a very, and this is the present energy, right? So it's a very, um, you know, light. I want to say it's a very light energy here because there's a sense of like, okay, this may not work out. You know, there, there's someone here that feels as though if they do come forward here with some sort of communication, just like a simple text message, there could be no communication coming back towards them. So the, there's a sense of coming into this with just already disappointment, okay? We do have the Ace of Wands coming uh, up again. So this person has, they have a lot of passion for, for someone here. Again, flip it if you need to, guys. I feel like some some of you guys are um, could be wanting to offer somebody here. Um, kind of feel like everyone's kind of on the, on the board in regards to energies. Let me get one more card. Um, let's see. We have the Emperor, Aries energy here. So, I mean, and then the Ace of Cups, all right? So, I mean, the energy is coming out in regards that this person does have deep feelings for you. I kind of feel like 
there was, like I said, I remember, I don't remember how many readings ago it was. You guys might want to check the playlist, but that reading felt very heavy with energy. This is a, a sense that someone felt very, um, you know, they, lost in a way. Okay. Um, not saying that they, you know, I've said this before, not like they don't, it's like they're in the corner crying or anything, but it's like they, um, that energy then felt very strong. Um, not to say this isn't strong. This is a more of an energy here where it's, balanced in a way i know it's kind of weird for me to say that but with this this ace of swords here and you have the king of swords energy and the emperor being over here it's like i feel like this is your person's energy they'll be coming in as a queen of wands so they'll be coming in towards you knight of cups the page of cups knight of cups so there's a sense of a uh, little bit more, more maturity here especially with the emperor being down here and the ace of cups is more of an energy of let's talk something out there's an honest discussion there's an actual like someone has grown a little bit here and i'm not trying to offend anybody by that it's just a sense that maybe in the past somebody has um you know approach situations where they just felt like they can communicate with you and then you'll always respond or they'll throw a little joke message you know just to see if they can get your attention i feel like this person's finally serious about this um about this energy here or at least this commitment or this connection, not really a commitment yet, we're going to see. Now, you know, I know some of you guys don't want to hear about past energies, I know that, but I, but at the same time, I do feel like there's something here that, um, I don't know why, it feels like it might work out. Let's, let's pull up another deck here. We're going to pull, let's see the Manga Tarot. I'm going to pull this one up here. And we're going to clarify this way. Uh, all the cards will still be in the upright, but I want to see how this plays out here. Because I want to know, like, there, you know, it sucks to get these past energies sometimes and there's, like, no movement, right? But intuitively, I can feel like somebody is, when I say growth, it's like, you know, there's a sense of needing to make something happen. So, you know, this person either finds out if it's going to work or not. It's like, I need to, I need to know, you know, there is that type of energy here. I kind of feel like either this person sees you as a queen of wands or this person is a queen of wands. There is that energy. Meaning that if this person is that queen of wands, they are going to be very, um, you know, a little bit of flirtatiousness in there. Uh, let me see this king of swords. This king of swords energy here for Taurus. We have the magician here. It is Gemini. Virgo energy, definitely, you could be dealing, you know, with the Gemini here, with the Ten of Cups underneath here. This person, someone is trying to manifest you in, all right, with the Magician energy. Um, I will see, I want to put one more card on that to see if there's any sort of caution with that, because the Magician can be, no, Six of Pentacles. So this person um, does want to come in, or at least have... Um, you know, just that equal give and take type of relationship. I don't feel like this person really gave you that opportunity in the past. I do see the fool being underneath here, which is, you know, um, Aquarius energy, but it's like this person's taking that leap of faith now, okay? So maybe before, you know, whoever this resonates with, this person was more in this energy of like, Either they, they had to work on themselves, you know, or work on their confidence, you know, to come forward here and maybe even Ace of Cups, apology, you know, this person may not express so easily here. Let's see this Page of Cups. What is this Page of Cups here for Taurus? The Five of Cups. See, somebody is in this energy of regret. Um, this is a little bit of disappointment too because they did invest in other energies, okay? Three Cups has spilled. Nothing worked out for them. So we're going to see how this goes. And then they are looking at the two cups behind them now. They're going to see, you know, who who is right for them in a way. Now, as I'm doing this reading, I feel like it needs to be said before someone tunes out here, is that it's not this reading is not designed or any way to be where this person is coming back and you got to be with him. I just feel like it's a message here that someone needs to hear that maybe there is something here that never really got to take off in the past. Maybe you guys weren't with this person. You know, maybe maybe there was a really good potential. Maybe there's a deep connection here with somebody, but you know, there could have been interference with other people. All right, so I I feel like that is the message. I don't feel like this is someone you're with for many years, and then all of a sudden you guys you know 
cut someone off, someone cheated on you, and this and that, I kind of feel like this is something that was going really good, and maybe something kind of fell out. And it was just because you guys, it, the timing wasn't right. Okay, so whoever needs to hear that, all right? Let's see this Knight of Cups here. I feel like this is a person that's coming in with an opportunity or an offer here. The Fool, right? So it's clarified that this person is taking a leap of faith here towards you. There is communication coming in. But keep in mind, you know, this is not, I'm not a time person, so I can't say it's a week. It could be six months. It could be a year. But there's someone here that, um, that is thinking of you, all right? So let's see this Five of Pentacles here. The Three of Swords. So we have the Three of Swords here, the Five of Pentacles. So this, you not communicating with this person, or you guys not um, being in touch here, it, this this separation is, this person is in that Three of Swords energy here. And we have the Ace of Cups that shows up underneath here as well. So the matureness in this person is like, I don't know why I have to keep saying this, but it's like, Maybe in the past, it was like more like, um, I don't want to say puppy love, you know, I know it's like that's the, that's the, you know, one of those things. But I think this person is starting to realize more about the seriousness in this connection. Like they can see commitment here with you. And I feel like they don't see that with anyone else. But their approach is actually pretty legit so far. All right. So we're going to see if there's anything you have to watch out for. So let me see this three of swords. We have the Ten of Cups. This person is just like... Now, of course, I mean, the Ten of Cups could be a sense where with the Three of Swords and the Ten of Cups, yeah, they see yourself, you know, they see you guys together. It's it's a lot of... I feel like it's picking up from the other reading, too, that energy. I mean, like I said, it's not as deep, heavy, you know, like this person may have went through some sort of transformation. Again, Ace of Swords being over here. But it is... Um, it's pretty it's pretty nice. This is Queen of Queen of Wands here. They just have to reach out. I mean, with the fool and the, the Knight of Cups, they just have to communicate. That's really what they have to do. They, they they're a little bit intimidated by you, Taurus. I kind of feel like you might um, you know, like I said, this this is the person here that, you know, if you don't respond to them, it's gonna make them feel ten times worse. That's the energy that I'm picking up. And I feel like they already have this assumption that you're not going to communicate or respond back to them. Um, so let's see this Queen of Wands here. The Nine of Cups. So, I mean, you know, I don't know. This energy is a little bit... I'm going to get one more card on this. Let me move this one here. I kind of feel like, you know, you are this Queen of Wands still. You're kind of. It doesn't matter male or female. It's just a sense that you're, you're in a very good energy of um, taking care of yourself. You know, this is, you know, Queen of Wands, she'll, she'll dress up nice, she'll, you know, whatever it is, you know, just do things for yourself and feel really good. And with the Nine of Cups being over here, there's a sense of, um, you know, your own happiness, right? You're just doing things that make you happy. And you're also in an energy, whoever this resonates with, is an energy of gratitude, just kind of appreciating what is around you. You have temperance underneath here as well. So like, you might have some fire in your chart, okay? So you might have some Sagittarius in your chart here. Now, if you are dealing with the Sagittarius, I do feel like this is future energy. And like I said, there's growth and, um, you know, it's moving forward here. So this person might be coming in with that energy too, but I kind of pick up this is you. They see you as this Queen of Wands, a very attractive person here. All right, let me see this Ace of Swords. And the Queen of Wands is a mysterious energy as well, so you're not like, you know, you're being very kind of quiet or to yourself, or maybe you're just kind of giving that impression like, all right, I'm good. You know, I'm good without you. And that's kind of, that that kind of woke somebody up here. This Ace of Swords here is this Four of Cups, right? So somebody wasn't paying attention. Three Cups over here. Finally seeing that Ace of Cups now. You know, the Ace of Cups. We saw the Ace of Cups earlier. It's like the divine, your guides, spirit guides, universe, whatever you believe in, they uh, either this person had some sort of big awakening to where they realized they missed out on a huge opportunity. Okay, um, nine of pentacles underneath here as well. So they see you in a very nice, nice energy. Um, but I want to continue with these two cards because now my intuition is kicking in even more. It's just like, why now type of question. Let me see the seven of pentacles here. We have the page of coins. 
somebody, you know, see, this person knows that you're probably working on different things or you just kind of moved in a different um, path in some way. And I feel like this person wants to offer some things so they can build with you. So this person doesn't want to just come in and say, you know, hey, let's try something new. Let's be together. They want to commit to actually working with you on something here. So, you know, but I don't know. I need to look into this a little bit more. What's the emperor here? Why is the emperor being over here? The nine of swords. So this person is in more of a, um, and you have the moon card, right? So we have cancer, Pisces energy. So this emperor, I feel like, and this is their subconscious down here, right? So there's a sense of um, this person can't sleep. Um, you know, this is a sense of regret. Uh, we have regret over here. And also the emperor sometimes can be a controlling energy. This is like, I want it this way. Um, you know, you can't move forward. There is that energy coming from this person. So there is a sense of seeing you. Um, like I said, in this light of moving forward, working on yourself, meeting new people, right? But it's also bringing this fire of like, um, the, what's really pull, uh, pushing them towards you is this sense of them thinking like, you know, if you get with someone else, they can't handle that. And I feel like that's still something they need to work on because there's that controlling energy. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when you, um, you know, when somebody wants to come towards you only because they don't want to see you with someone else, that's not the right way to go. It's like they, you should want someone that uh, wants to work with you and, and have a sense of confidence, you know, like you don't want to be with someone here that's insecure in any way, right? Because then that even creates more problems than what you're trying to create. So let's say, for example, you're, you know, working hard at something, really focused on work or whatever you want to build. And then this person still has a little bit of insecurity or some sort of insecurity here that you're talking to someone else that brings more, uh, you know, um, energy towards you where you have to, you feel more drained because this person is trying to take more energy. There is something here that this person needs to still work on. So that is what I'm picking up. And maybe, you know, like there is a seriousness, there is a sense of growth here with this person still. So I'm not backing out from that, but there's also this energy of still not fully uh, independent. This person that you're dealing with is not fully independent with themselves yet. They could have been, you know, in a codependent situation too in the past, or uh, if you were with this person, maybe they, they are just, you know, in a way kind of needy in a way. So, um, but with the moon card here, it just feels like, you know, the moon card, I feel like with this, it's like awakening, okay? So this person's still going through something here. So, um, let's get a little bit deeper here. What is the intentions of this person here? Like I said, I, I can already pick up this person wants to come forward, work with you and everything like that. But this, this person is still working on themselves a little bit here. Um, and I feel like, you know, in their energy, it's like, you know, universe wants this communication to happen. I feel like this person sees you in a very good light here with the Ten of Cups. But their subconscious area, it's like they still need to figure something out so let's get three cards on this on this connection here for Taurus we have the queen of coins which is you still you know there's still something coming towards you this person still feels for you here empress energy I mean Taurus you're just in this um, really looking good and I feel like this person doesn't even know and you have a tower here, all right? So I want to take a look at this tower. I don't think this person knows kind of what to do, what to say. You know what I mean? A hang, hangman energy, Pisces. Let me see this tower here. Why is the tower here for Taurus? And like I said, I'm just getting a lot of awakening going on here. What is the tower here for Taurus? We have the sun. With the hangman underneath here again. Let me just do one more. So I, I feel like this tower, we have the Five of Cups, a lot of regret. You have the Three of Swords here, Three of Swords over here. This person's in um, a lot of like, again, waking up to what this connection was. And I feel like they're starting to realize, you know, this is someone that, like I said, I feel like I'm repeating this already, but it's someone that they want to be with long term. But they they know coming to the Empress is... And male or female doesn't matter. Coming to you is knowing that, or whoever this resonates, flip it if you need to. They they can't come at that energy of lower bi vibration. You're vibrating high. You're focused on creating things. You're manifesting new things here. This person's trying to manifest you, but at the same time, there is some work that this person needs to do still. So it's definitely this this feelings are there. The uh, realization of who you are. 
they want to be with you but there's also a sense of them needing to work on themselves and that that means you have to be independent you have to love yourself first so they have to kind of love themselves and then come towards you so in time there is some divine timing in play here um i do feel like it's, it feels kind of like a soulmate type of energy here this person sees you as happiness but let me just pull one card on that we have the king of coins see they see this there's a power couple dynamic going on here we have justice so it's it's balancing out i'm just picking up you know again these energies will play out differently there's so many people that watch these videos um you know so it's you know if you want it it's there this person there's someone either going to come forward here and apologize there's someone that's going to come forward apologize and want to build something with you so it's going to go a lot of different ways and some of you guys might just get communication and you know maybe go separate ways who knows how it works right but this person I think I feel like whatever this connection was uh, brought up unconditional love here. So there's a sense that even if you deny or not want this connection, I feel like this person is there to support you regardless. So this is a very long-term connection. So even if it just stays as a friend, it's like this person will be there to support you. They'll be there when you need it, and even you know, and that happens. I mean, you could you could uh, love someone. You know, and, and, you know, you move on to another relationship, you move on, that person moves on to another relationship, but still be connected into where, you know, you guys are there for each other, because that's what unconditional love is all about here, all right? So, um, so that is what I got, Hierophant, Taurus, energy here, Nine of Pentacles underneath here. Taurus, you're just, I mean, I feel like you, your energy is picking up from the last reading, very focused on being successful and moving that direction. You know, and, and like I said, if you guys have not watched that video, I do recommend taking a look at that because there was some good information in there. If you guys are really focused on this Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles energy, and I feel like you got someone chasing you. All right. So, um, but again, you know, you guys know me. I always say in my videos when, you, when I do readings like this, don't wait on it, you know, um, and you'll know who this is. I mean, this is gonna, not going to be someone that... Um, you, if you know this is a, a connection that ended, you don't even want to look back at this. This may not resonate for you, but I kind of feel like if it's in your energy and you're thinking about somebody, somebody may need to hear that. But there's definitely king, queen of coins here. Um, this person sees you as happiness. Look at it. We got, you know, somebody's going through it. All right. So um, they are working on themselves, but they do want to come forward here with that knight of cups. And I feel like it's more of a... Um, mature way of approaching it not nothing um, like they they want to be serious about it is what i get all right they're just kind of going through their own stuff they're learning their own lessons still that's what i'm getting so taurus that is your reading and um i'll get you guys let's get you an oracle let's get you guys an oracle here and um i'll come out with some more some more videos here for you guys and um i am not going to do any more personals uh at least until I kind of announce it again so i'm stopping personals here um because i got other things i'm working on finally so yeah i got i'm gonna be pretty busy um so i probably just so heads up i will try um to kind of come in with the zodiac still i'm still trying to catch up on the other ones here um if anything it's probably going to convert to all signs so it's just going to be collective so be sure not to miss miss those i just um trying to schedule out the timing and what, what else i have going on right now so um definitely want to still continue with the videos and you know like i said i do this to help others and um yeah so that's it so anyway um if you guys really really need a personal and um you know send me that email and then we'll try to schedule something but i feel like um, it'll have to be like a zoom call something very fast. We can kind of talk on the phone So um, we could do it that way. All right, so Lioness is coming out for you guys again. I'm gonna pull another Oracle for you um, So it says you are strongly protected right now You are invited to embrace your authenticity and to be unafraid to wisely express your emotions to protect others We must learn to develop strength in ourselves and to know the power of restraint Which is the real power it involves. Okay, so one more, one more oracle here, and we'll just pull, actually I'll do this one here. I'm just going to break it and we'll pull this. It says, um, co-creation, I unite with the power of love. So that is a nice one there for you as well. But that is your reading, Taurus. And like I said, if this helps, please do hit that like. And if you guys have not subscribed, feel like we vibe here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, we'll see ya. You guys have a good one.